My name is Seknikte Toledo Patiño, and I'm a postdoc in Professor Laurino Unit, and I work on protein design and evolution. We study the evolution of proteins in order to understand them better, and once we understand them, we can create them synthetically. So we're looking at protein crystals, and each single one of them has millions of protein molecules. The reason why we grow them in the lab is because the originals are so small that we cannot see them with the naked eye. That we have to diffract them with X-rays in order to elucidate the structures. Those are crystals from an engineered protein, oxidoreductase protein that originally binds NAD, and after the engineering process, it binds a completely different protein that is not uh, bound in nature. Something interesting about the, the crystals is when we grow them in these 96 well plates, it's almost like winning the lottery because you have all these different conditions that are known that my favorite crystallization, but you never know if they will ever crystallize. So every time you look, one of them is going to be like bingo or not. So it's very fun to, to look at this sometimes, or most of the times you don't see anything growing. And once in a, in a while, you get like this beautiful image of these beautiful crystals. The reason I call this image planet, it's because I really see a planet. You see this round, um, beautiful drop with different colors. And the light seems like uh, coming from a sun or something and the shade. Something that fascinates me is that we are almost entirely driven by proteins. So life is driven by proteins. I see them like these little machines that do everything in the body. They are so different, but at the same, very similar at the atomic level, that it fascinates me how nature can achieve such a, an amazing variety of functions just using the same building blocks, in a sense.